once you have an account that lets you sign into QPP, you'll need to connect to an organization such as a practice or an APM entity. Connecting to an organization is the second step in the two-step process that will allow you to submit, view, and manage data for an organization. Navigate to the Manage Access page. If you're not connected to any organization, you'll have a blank screen here that prompts you to connect to an organization. If you're already connected to an organization, you'll see those organizations listed and then will be prompted to connect to another organization. Whether you are connecting to an organization for the first time or connecting to another organization, the three next steps will remain the same. So the first step on this screen, once you've selected connect to an organization, is to select your organization type. In this video, again, we'll be reviewing how to connect to a practice. And this is an organization represented by a single taxpayer identification number or TIN, such as a group, solo practitioner, or a hospital. The second step is to find your organization. Once you've selected your practice, you can click to change the organization if for some reason you've erroneously selected the wrong organization. You need to select a different one. Otherwise, you can go ahead and click continue. The third step is to then choose your role for the organization. If your organization already has a security official, you can select staff user or security official and then submit your request to be submitted to the existing security official. If you are the first user to connect to the organization uh, and therefore will become the first security official, staff user will be grayed out since you cannot select that. And you can then select security official. You will need to provide additional information that will then use to verify your request. And once you become a security official, you will need to approve or deny any new requests for access to your organization.